Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Flog Plays and Reviews Spirit Siege Card Fantasy. Now, this is another game that I got into the con I got in contact with the creators Nova Heartbeat uh, to try to get a copy of this game so that I could review it. And I haven't really played into it at all, so this is going to be kind of a blind review. So I'm going to be learning with you guys as I go. But, uh, as you can plainly see on the screen, it says Spirit Siege is a work in progress. And it tells me not to distribute without the explicit permission of Nova Heartbeat and those are the people who have made the game. And I will definitely not give this game out to anybody else. This is all for me, because I'm going to enjoy this. But it's, uh, it, but it's basically a, uh, it's a CCG, uh, so it's a collectible card game, but it meets uh, RTS, so there's some RTS elements in it. So there's real-time strategy and collectible card games, two things that I incredibly like a lot, and so I've never actually played a game quite like this. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get into it, um, but I'm going to read a little bit of the email that uh, Arissa... Scott sent me, and she is one of the lead people at Nova Heartbeat. She's one of the founders, and uh, she and uh, there's going to be some Kickstarter links and stuff like that below. So if you guys like what this game looks like, definitely go and give them some money because they're almost at their goal. I think they're they're a little over twenty thousand, and they need fifty thousand. So that's definitely something that you guys should go and check out. Uh, but right now it says Spirit Siege is a CCG meets an RTS. We wanted to bring fast-paced, real-time, cooperative or competitive matches without being too hard to get into. You just drag cards from your hand onto the board, and they will shoot in all directions. The goal being to destroy your enemy's crystals while defending your own. So, uh, I, if I click on the tutorial, there's nothing really there right now. It'll just walk me through. It'll say hi. The tutorial's there, and it'll tell me that I can place stuff from my hand onto the field, and it basically destroys everything around it. So. I hear a phone going off in the other room, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to click play. And I don't know if we're going to be able to find an opponent. Oh, we're waiting for an opponent. Will we find an opponent? I need to find... Oh, there he is. Yay. So I believe I am Obsidian the Defiler, and I am going to be fighting against the Chihuahua. Okay. So basically, if I lay stuff down, like right here, and stuff like that, it, it will basically eat away. Oh, okay. Well, that is... This sucks, because I was not paying attention. I did not realize that they could immediately destroy everything around me. Uh, okay, so I have to... Uh, okay, let's go ahead and do that. So that way, that'll destroy her. Maybe. We'll find out. We'll find out. All right, so if he's going to mess with her, then that... Okay, then I need to hurry up and gain some points so I can almost get her. I don't know what she does. I'm kind of learning all what all these units do, but that's really cool. Okay, so my little guy here destroyed her. Uh, so if I put her here, I wonder what she does. I'm going to build her here and see what happens. All right, so that... Okay, so that places her there. Okay, so I need another one of these guys here so that he will destroy that. Okay, so I also... Okay, so the princess, it looks like, feeds uh, each one of these things. So let's go ahead and we'll put that guy here. And he will destroy them, hopefully. Okay, so the goal is to try to get, I guess, these 55. But the real goal is to just try to destroy these. So let's see if I can't pull her out before something bad happens right here. Right there. Right there. So you guys are going to notice something right off the bat that there is a lot of... Um, there's a lot of issue with uh, the, the way I have to record this. And it's because... Um, it's mostly because of the fact that uh, to record this, um, I, I have to... Okay, there's a bear down here. Oh, I'm not paying any attention and I'm getting my ass handed to me. This isn't good. This isn't good, guys. This isn't good. Okay. Let's see if I can't... Let's see if I can't somehow... Uh, somehow. I'm going to I'm gonna do this somehow. I'm going to defeat everything somehow. 
But uh, but yeah, ba basically I had to record this, but it's like set up like it would be a touch screen on a phone. So you guys are going to see brackets off to each side, but I'm going to fill those in with some art from the game actually. So that, that way um, you guys get to see some of the cool art that I've uh, been checking out from these guys. Uh, and, and the art really is cool. I love the art style for this game. It's really awesome. I'm just going to get my ass handed to me because I did not realize just how terrible I was going to be in this game. <laughs> okay, so now I've got a knight that I can put up, but I don't know... Ooh, I got a bear, too. I'm going to put the bear up here. And then I'll put the knight... Uh, okay. Oh, no! Okay. Okay, let's try to put him here. Okay. He'll, he'll kind of defend everything for me for a little bit there. So let's go ahead and we'll drag and drop her here. Okay. Basically, I'm going to be beaten this time around, but maybe since I'm learning, I can do a little bit better next time. I thought it was more of a turn-based thing, and I was sitting there waiting, and I was like, wait just a second, I'm an idiot. So, yeah, I'm definitely probably going to lose this one, but uh, I will try my best on the second round of this so that that way I don't suck completely. But as you guys can see, it's actually a really, really, uh, it's, it's a really cute looking game. I really like the way that the the art is and I really like the way that it's all set up and stuff like that it looks like it would be fairly easy for somebody who is uh, getting just getting into these kinds of games to uh, really um, like get their hand in on like collectible trading card games and getting in on stuff like that so it's definitely something that I think would be cool to check out more and uh, once they get their Kickstarter money, hopefully they're able to get this thing out so that a lot of people can check it out because it really, it's one of those unique games that I think more people should get into. So let's see if I can't maybe at least destroy one of the blues. It'd be nice if I could at least destroy one of the blue. Uh, I'd like to get this dragon, so I might just wait and try to get this dragon. I might actually somehow win if she, if the other person doesn't place something there. Okay, let's put my dragon, it looks like, down here. Let's see what the dragon looks like. I'm very interested in what the dragon looks like. Oh, cool! We got a dragon with, like, a fireball that shoots out and, like, blasts and stuff like that. That's awesome. I really, like I said, I'm, I'm really addicted to the artwork for this game. Uh, it's something that uh, I that always catches my eye when there's unique artwork and stuff. So it's definitely something that um, I look for whenever I play an indie game is the art design. Because even if the game doesn't have a lot of like of story or anything like that, if the art design is really well done, then I'm all for it. I'm definitely all for you know getting uh, together and just playing a game where it looks beautiful uh, there's a lot of games like that actually so I'm gonna place this guy here see if I can't get any but yeah th uh, this is from uh, like I said this is from Nova Heartbeat Nova Heartbeat and uh, like I said you guys should definitely check this out if this oh okay well I'm gonna try you again actually I'm going to try this again and I'm going to see if I can't get this a little bit easier uh, this time because I think with my old man brain and my old man reflexes, it took me just a little bit to get used to what was going on in the video. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so like I can go ahead and drop this one here. I believe I'm red, so I can go ahead and start dropping stuff like right here so that way I can destroy some stuff. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the rogue... Right here, I'm gonna place him right there so that way he can destroy this thing. Okay, so now I just gotta wait for 15 at least so that I can pull out her. Uh, I'm kind of, I'm kind of interested in also what the characters are and what they, because this guy looks like he's a, like an archer or a rogue, or this guy looks like a rogue. I can't really tell what a lot of these characters are, but like I said, uh, like I'm probably just really dumb and I don't know what I'm doing. But like I said, this is kind of a first look at for me. 
So hopefully I'll be able to destroy at least... I'm going to put one guy up here once I can actually pull someone out. So I'm hoping that... Oh, okay. I'm going to put him right here. He'll get in between there and the... Okay. Oh, no! She's shooting her... Uh, okay, I think she's confusing my poor thing. Oh, no! He definitely killed me. Okay, let's use her now. I'm getting it that the higher the number, the better the unit is. And, uh, and so I'm definitely understanding that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Let's go ahead and shoot something back right at... Oh, no. Okay, so maybe I should wait for the... Ba oh, okay, good. There we go. There we go. I sent her... I sent her a flying. Or I sent him a flying. Awesome! So we destroyed one of them. All right, so now I can put someone up here, maybe. Oh, no! Oh, no. Okay, so let's put her, him up here so that way he can destroy both of them. I'm going to get into this game, guys. It's going to be, like, insane that I'm going to get into them so this game so much. But, like I said, I love playing games like this, and it's just going to drive me nuts if I can't get used to it. <laughs> so I'll probably be playing this game well after I do one video. All right. Alright, so uh, one of my things down here got destroyed, but that didn't really matter because he wasn't really doing anything. So we're going to go ahead and put another one right here. Alright, and then my bear is almost ready, so then I'll send my bear out to destroy... Oh no, okay, well, I'll send my bear out to destroy them. Then I'll put this chick right in between this and this, so that way she can protect. Oh, I should have dropped her down here. Ah, crap. Okay, well, I'll, I'll, I'll do my best there. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, there's a bear. Not a bear. Okay. I like the bears. They've got little fezzes on, and that's always funny when there's a fez. I watch a lot of uh, Doctor Who, so... Oh, I see how you can gauge their health, too. The little... Uh, the little uh, the little bases get smaller. Okay, now I understand. Okay, so basically I have to destroy two more of these things, and this one's well on the way, and I'm going to go ahead and do this, so that way I can destroy this guy right here. And then hopefully I can hurry up and destroy this before my bear gets destroyed. Uh, otherwise... Yeah, I did it! Okay, so now I can put... Okay. Oh, okay, I'll put him right there. And then he can start focusing on that. And then I'll put my knight right here as well. And he can start focusing on that as well. And then I think... I think I might actually win the match. I think I might actually win the match. So there's a lot of strategy involved with this, even though it's really cutesy and stuff like that. I like I like I keep saying I'm gonna babble about the art forever. Yeah, I did it. I did it. Awesome. So I don't. Uh, so I don't think that there's a lot of audio. So I'm probably gonna go ahead and I'm going to. Uh, uh, I'm going to probably go ahead and. Uh, add some music to it because I'm not hearing any music so I'm guessing that there's not any music right now at least for this pre-alpha so I'll be sure I was listening to make sure that I could I, my headphones just weren't turned down or something like that but uh, I'll, I'll definitely add some music to this and stuff like that like I said this is definitely an addicted game addicting game because obviously I'm going to want to keep playing this after I'm done and the more of it I want to keep playing this, the more of it I'm going to want this game uh, in a full version. Because right now it looks like I can only play against the one character. And that's fine. Because uh, it's going to give me a lot of practice for when the game actually comes out. Because I do plan on very much uh, helping to kickstart this game. So that that way uh, I can get everything that uh, is this game's awesome in every way so it definitely deserves to be kickstarted there's yeah just just definitely check out the kickstarter and try to throw them a few bucks so that way they can continue making such awesome games like this um 
I would I would like some of the art for this like just printed on my wall that is definitely something that I would love because this is actually really cute art and it actually seems like it would fit really well on my wall because my walls are filled with cute art or comic book art or something of the kind it looks like I'm probably gonna get my ass handed to me this time because of the fact that I wasn't really paying too much of attention but uh, but yeah so this is definitely something that I think should be kickstarted. It's definitely something that I'm going to support with my own money uh, because I get paid, I believe, tomorrow. So I'm going to throw them some money. I'm going to throw them some money. So I think that anybody who is a fan of trading or uh, collectible card game slash uh, RTS games should definitely check this out because it's definitely a unique little game. That I've never quite played a game like this before. And like I said, there might be other games like this. I've just never really paid attention. And that's fine because this is awesome in every way. So definitely uh, check out the link below because you guys will love this game if you like any kind of game like this. Uh, like I said, this is definitely made for touchscreens. But uh, for right now, I'm using a pre-alpha build that they sent to me via email. So this is definitely not something that you can grab right now because it's um, it's for reviewing purposes only. And I don't know if they've sent it out to anybody else, but they've definitely sent it out to me. And I'm very, very grateful for you guys. Thank you so much for letting me play this game. I love playing indie games. I say this now and I always say this, that indie developers are the backbone of the gaming community. And, they, and most of the time, you guys aren't given enough credit where credit is due you guys are getting a little bit more credit now that uh, indie games have become more of a credible thing but it's definitely something that i think still needs work i think people still need to realize that indie developers make games that are just as good if not better than a lot of triple a titles and uh and there's not a lot of triple a titles that would take um there's not a lot of triple a titles that would uh, I'm trying to think of the word that would take the risk to make a game like this where there's not a whole lot of it on the market and uh, and so therefore these guys kind of have a niche in the market and that's awesome in every way so uh, even if I get my ass handed to me in the majority of the matches I'm going to keep playing this I'm gonna go ahead and stop this now so that I can go ahead and uh, do a little ending segment for you guys but basically, uh, Spirit Siege Card Fantasy is definitely a game to check out if you are a fan of card, uh, uh, collectible card games, or you're a fan of real-time strategy, because obviously it takes a lot of strategy to be able to place your units here and there so that you don't get destroyed and you're able to destroy them at the same time. Um, definitely check out NovaHeartBeat.com, check out their website, and check out the people that are behind this game. Uh, like I said, there's going to be a, uh, a links and everything in the description below, especially to their Kickstarter. Definitely check out their Kickstarter because they deserve some money. I'm going to just throw my money at them. I'm just going to throw it at them so that that way I can get a full version of this game uh, and I can play more of it and see the different uh, classes and stuff like that that I would have to go up against. So once more, I would like to thank Nova Heartbeat, and I would like to thank Arissa Scott for sending me this via email. Uh, this is definitely something that I love to do. I love to review indie games. So if you guys know of any indie games that you guys would like me to review, um, no matter how small, no matter how big, just tell me and I will definitely review them or I'll play them for the channel. Either way. And once this game comes out in a full version, I will definitely revisit this and play more for you guys so that you guys can check out the awesomeness that this game is because I believe that it will hit its mark definitely because people will love this once they see it. So thank you very much Nova Heartbeat and definitely check out Spirit Siege and I will see you guys in another video. Remember to click that like button, favorite or comment and subscribe and also check us out on uh, Twitter for all of our news updates and shout outs and also check out our fundraiser for the Brain and Behavior Research Foundation because it's for a really good cause and you can get some really cool swag from us. So I will see you guys in another video. Goodbye everybody! 
Thanks for watching that video. Click in the upper left to subscribe and then check out Among the Sleep. I got my shoe. Going to use it. After that, check us out on Google Plus and Twitter for all the new updates for the channel and then check out Portal 2. You gotta shoot the red one, I believe. So here I go. Also, make sure you click on the Brain and Behavior logo so that you guys can understand the charity drive that we're doing. Thanks, and goodbye!